Now we discuss about the muscles takes origin from the ulna. Here is one muscle. Here. Here is superior network crest. This is superior network crest and anterior triangular area to superior network crest. Here muscle arises. That is supinator muscle. Supinator. And the muscle which arises from the medial part of coronary process. From here, this is flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum superficialis. And here, this is pronator teres. And the muscle, this is pronator quadratus. Sorry, this is uh, flexor, this is flexor digitorum profundus. Flexor digitorum profundus. Here is Pronator quadratus. This is pronator quadratus. And the muscle. This is left medial surface. This is medial surface. This is posterior view of the ulna. Here flexor digitorum profundus. This is flexor digitorum profundus. Arise from this area. And another thing, this is posterior border. And this posterior border here. It gives attachment to the aponeurosis. Here one aponeurosis is attached. And this aponeurosis gives attachment, gives origin to three muscles. One is this muscle, this is flexor digitorum profundus, so some fibers of the flexor digitorum profundus arise from this aponeurosis which attaches on the posterior border. Another muscle which arises from this aponeurosis, these muscles are Flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris. So there are three muscles which arise from this aponeurosis. These are flexor digitorum profundus, flexor carpi ulnaris, extensor carpi ulnaris. And the muscle which arise from this part. This is adductor. Pollicis longus. This is abductor pollicis longus. Here is extensor, extensor pollicis brevis. Extensor pollicis brevis. And, and there is extensor indices. Extensor indices. So abductor pollicis longus. Extensor pollicis brevis and extensor indices. So here you can see the number of the muscle takes origin from the ulna. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 muscles takes origin from the ulna.